UVA was up on Hampton by 19 at the half. They ended up winning by 36. But advancing to the second round didn't come without some drama. Of course, we got everyone's attention. Tony Bennett falling to the floor late in the first half. The players said they did their best to focus on basketball, but it wasn't easy. I just wanted to make sure he was okay. You know, that's not that's not what he does. You know, that that's um, something that happened for the first time today, and and it's kind of scary because it, you've never seen that before. And um, our first reaction was just to make sure he's okay. You know? When someone goes down like that, it's going to be some concern. So um, we were a little nervous. So it was a scary moment, and um, we just wanted to make sure he was okay. But at the same time, focus on the game just like he wanted us to do. When Bennett fell, the Hoos had already taken control of the game but they certainly didn't start dominating from the opening tip. The players even admitted to having some NCAA tourney nerves for the first few minutes. Uh, the first few minutes we were sluggish, kind of like we, we were like shocked of we're in a tournament or whatever, but we started getting defensive stops and then once we start seeing a few shots go in, that's when our rhythms just got on. We start making good plays, knocking down threes and doing what we usually do. You know, I think that was just a the jitters that we had in the first couple of minutes, you know, trying to trying to get those out of us and trying to trying to play UVA basketball to the best of our ability. You know, we kind of felt our way into that game a little bit, and we can't do that going forward. Um, it's just something where we're going to have to attack the game from the start uh, because teams like Butler in our next next round, you know, we can't we can't just let it come to us. You know, we have to go after it. Overall, it was a dominant performance. They held Hampton to 30% shooting. Meanwhile, UVA shot 55% and had 20 assists on its 32 buckets. Up next, Butler. I'm Jeff Fischel in Raleigh following the Cavaliers through their run in the NCAA tournament. This is the ACC Digital Network.